program is not a news broadcast. Rick Nelson gave his final concert on December 30th, 1985. The next day, his DC-3 mysteriously crashed in a Texas field. The rumors began. It's like somebody jumping on up and down on your brother's bones. Now, for the first time, an investigation reveals the truth behind the rumors. The real story of what happened. Also, in a New Mexico motorcycle park, it was a day like any other, until a tragedy occurred. Now, it's up to scientists to rebuild the accident inside the computer in order to find out what happened. Reputation. 
position was tarnished. Though the fire was intense, a number of aerosol cans, much like these, were found in the wreckage. Now, aerosol cans can be used during the freebasing process to provide the fire needed to vaporize cocaine. And some journalists jumped to the conclusion that this was the real cause of the crash. The events that led to tragedy began on December 28, 1985. On that afternoon, Rick and his band flew into the small town of Guntersville, Alabama, as a favor to an old friend and former band member, Pat Upton. Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? Rick had just bought his vintage DC-3, and he loved to show it off. Hey. Oh, man, this looks beautiful. This is great. It was a late afternoon, and the sun was setting, and all the colors and everything behind the plane looked very nice. And so when I saw him, I mentioned it. You know, that to him, and he was proud of his plan. DC-3s require constant maintenance, and after landing, pilot Brad Rank and co-pilot Ken Ferguson checked over one of the plane's engines. Usually, once he got to the, to the city or the hotel, he usually stayed in his room.